Namaste, love and light, divine feminines. Welcome to my channel, Star Seeds Tarot 444. We can get tarot readings and so much more. I send you all love and light, abundance and prosperity. And if you all would like to book a personal reading with me, everything you need to know is in the description box down below. So please check that. Alright, it's not going to resonate with all you divine feminines. So do take what resonates and leave all of the rest, okay? Do not force nothing to fit for you, okay? If it don't fit, it just don't fit. Some of y'all could be from Brazil or you live in Brazil or your ancestors are. But anyway, take that out resonate. But anyway, um, Divine Masculine, if you are cross-watching cross for your feminine, please do not force anything to fit for your, your feminine. Take what resonates and leave all the rest for her. And if you feel, well, if you see that I'm channeling your energy masculine, take what resonates and leave all the rest. Okay? Don't force nothing that I say in my readings to fit. Period. Point blank. Don't do it. All right, somebody, I'm, I was rubbing my eyes. Somebody is definitely gaining clarity on some things and they're seeing things like, like they're seeing things 10 times more clearly now and they're understanding and they feel it, all right, in their gut that whatever it is that they're feeling is, is right, okay, that is right and it's pure, all right. Hmm? But, yeah, that's just a small message. Let's see. Mask. Ooh, wow. I had to say ooh because you guys, I'm hearing, you guys are so cosmic that you're able to see through someone's mask, okay? I'm just keep hearing cosmic, cosmic, cosmic everywhere. And y'all know I deal with cosmic stuff. Y'all obviously resonate with it, but y'all understand that y'all are cosmic, okay? And that you're able to see through people 3D bullshit, okay? You're able to see through the 3D, through the matrix. You broke out of the matrix. And y'all... It was revealed that you had a fake ass friend that was wearing a mask. Y'all could have just went out with this friend or y'all had a girls' night. All right. And I feel like, yeah, okay. What I'm getting is this a friend could have put you up on game about someone around you. I'm getting someone at work. So this friend, y'all could work, y'all all three, y'all could work together and y'all two went out. All right. This friend put you up on game about this person at work, not to trust them here. All right. Not to trust them or not to trust. Okay, I'm also getting because I when I saw this, I I picked up my name here, and it's re, it's reminding me of what I went through in the past recently, of how someone was going around slandering my name, saying that I was this masked person when I wasn't, and telling other other people lies. So what I'm getting is that okay, somebody being two faced. It. Somebody recently put you up on game about somebody being fake. But I'm channeling something in the past here as well. Alright, there's people around you in your work environment or people just around you, period, that's going around saying that you was a snake, that you are fake, okay? And I feel like they had, like, their own group of people believing that shit. And I feel like shit been revealed. It's been revealed that this person have been wearing a mask and that you have not been whoever's trying to say that you're wearing a mask it's been revealed that they're wearing a damn mask okay their mask came off and they try to portray it like it was you but really it was them and somebody's putting you up on game about that okay a, a, a friend that's close to this i'm here a friend of a friend so a friend your friend that is friends with this friend this with a mask is putting you up on game about what this person been trying to do to you and how they've been plotting and planning and scheming against you here. All right? You need to ground yourself. That's what I'm getting. All right? You don't need to prepare for the worst. This person needs to prepare for the worst. This person was trying to get you to prepare yourself. They listen, whoever this person with a mask is, they were trying to set you up, set you up, and they wanted you to prepare for the worst. Okay, they like somebody tried to call the police on you and everything, and somebody put you up on game with this girl night. Yo, that friend of a friend told you they trying to set you up with the police. Don't go to work this day because they gonna have the police waiting for you outside. This person is crazy. Whoever this person with a mask is, they fucking crazy. And people around them are seeing that they're fucking crazy. Yeah, they could have had people believing their their lies and illusions in the beginning, but people are seeing through their bullshit now. Okay, and I feel like yeah, they listen. They even had a, a mask going around the police. I'm hearing they told the police and I and I saw a mask. Well, I heard mask. So, so whatever they told the police, it was fake. All right? And I feel like they dragged... Listen. I'm picking up that they dragged their friend's name 
end their shit to the police. Like, they told the police, yeah, my my friend also know that Divine Feminine did this too. I had, We all have proof. All right, that's why this friend is running to you, trying to tell you, like, listen, they even try to drag me in that shit, so I'm trying to put you up on game too. Like, this person is dragging everybody in their shit, okay? That's what I'm also getting. So if that friend ain't tell, if that person ain't tell you like, hey, the cops is coming to the job, and that's, that's literally what I'm getting. Or it's about to be a setup. Don't come to work. They told the police shit that okay. They involve their group of people that they was going around talking shit about with you, well, talking shit about you with. They went and told all those people names to the police and got them involved as if they as if those same friends was going to be on their side even though they lied to the cops okay and that's why somebody's coming to you panicking like hey watch out be careful or hey this is what's going on this is why you know you may be questioned by by police or police come to your door or investigated or you may have heard Okay, or you may have heard of me and heard. It's because, it's true. They're saying that it is true, but it's because X, Y, and Z. And it's this person that did it. And if you didn't know, they're telling you who did it. If you've been experienced, like if somebody been just been randomly fucking with you, all right, you've been suspecting, but you're not for sure their mask is off, and somebody's about to confirm to you who it really is. All right? And I feel like it was all behind your new beginning. Somebody was, was trying to block your new beginning or jealous of your new beginning or jealous of the fact that you're blossoming here. And this is at work. All right, I don't know if you told anyone about a new beginning or people can just see that you're glowing here and they just want to, and they see that you're going and blossoming and they want to block that. They want to block that or this person that did. They wanted to block that here, yeah. By feeding you with fear and doubt here, making you doubt yourself, making you feel insecure about yourself. I'm getting for some of you guys, y'all were all friends. For some of you guys, y'all were all in a group, like in a group of friends here. It was a group of friends, y'all all was friends and y'all had this one fake friend. They'll get around other fake, um, other two friends here, and they'll be all be fake together talking about you, okay? But somebody took something way too far. They took it as far as calling the damn police and calling your name and other people's name in the police lies. Well, calling your name as if you are the criminal, and then involving their them and their friends as if they are the victims, okay? So yeah, somebody took things way too fucking far. Yeah, and I, the song is called Foggy Road. Somebody's going down a foggy-ass road, and I feel like it's this mask because they may even get questioned by the police now about what the fuck they friend said about them. Oh, shit. And that could be the fear and doubt that you've been picking up lately from this situation. Somebody's scared that they're going to be questioned by the police or somebody's scared that the police is questioning you about this person and they lies. Because they feel like they know that the police have to come to you and, and question you about their bullshit. And what, listen, if somebody lied on you and it's proven that they lied on you, which you know they did, I, don't, I feel like something's not going to end well. I'm getting lawsuit. I'm get civil suit. I'm I'm getting something here. It's not good. It's not good for this person that started these lies that called the police and, and started lies here, or even started police rumors and lies here. Somebody could have. Somebody listen. Somebody said they was gonna do it, and but listen. Somebody said that they was gonna do it, but then said they didn't do it. But no, they they fucking did it. Okay. If you're a cross watcher here watching, all right, and you have a homegirl that did this shit. I don't know why I'm, I'm picking that up like a cross watcher. All right, her ass did it. When you encouraged her and gassed her ass up to do it, her ass did it. With whatever girls' night y'all had that night when y'all was chit chatting, eating y'all popcorn, gossiping, and you was like, oh, she, and she was like, she gonna call police when she get home or make a police report. You thought she was playing, or she was dead ass serious. She did it, and she thought you was gonna be there to back her ass up. And I feel like your ass is backing out in shame. Whoever. Cross watches watching this. That's what I'm kidding. But flip flop the roles for you, okay? Look, surprise twist. This person, and they wanted to come up this way. They're not. They're gonna. Things. Things twisted on this person. They're about to have a plot twist, and not a positive one. Or a negative one, like things about to blow up in their face. Something has to, is this have something to do with spirituality or beliefs here? All right, I feel like there was gossip going around about your spiritual beliefs or your spirituality. And somebody could have used spirituality against you. 
All right, yup. Ooh, somebody was, listen, there was gossip going around about your new beginning. All right? And I'm hearing spiritual new beginning. All right, you could even been bumping heads with people around you about your spiritual beliefs. Or somebody was bumping heads with your spiritual beliefs here. All right? Some of you guys, if this was work, you could have went to work and talked about your new beginning. All right, how you, you know, you got all these new things manifesting for you. And you guys had no idea that this friend was wearing a mask. And they could have been trying to plot against you this whole time. They really didn't want you to have this new beginning. Excuse me, so they went as far as calling the damn police. All right, and now they're receiving, they're about to receive karma. For some of you, for some of you guys, this is old. I'm hearing now they're receiving karma. And if this is recent, they're about to receive karma. That plot twist is that the police is going to be at day door asking them questions about what the fuck they did. about. And, and what I'm also getting is that they also going to be questioned by the police about what their friend said that they did. Okay, because somebody, they don't want the, the police coming to their door. Especially if they didn't really want the police to be called. This friend is just, this other friend is just crazy enough to do it. They're like, nah, -uh, you got to go back to this crazy friend because they called you. I ain't called. I ain't got nothing to do with that. They said this, that, and the third. That's what they're going to do. Music. Something about music is significant here. During y'all girls' night, y'all could have been listening to music here. Okay? Y'all could have watched a movie together. Then was vibing in the car, listening to music. I don't know. Something about music. That's all I'm really getting is just music. That's it. <laughs> Sweetest thing. Somebody could be listening to your music here. All right? I, this is innocence. The sweetest thing is innocence. Let me show y'all. Okay? Because you're innocent here. You're innocent. I'm telling you, boy. Let a bitch try to put me in the fucking jail. No, I'm joking. That ain't for me. Let me stop. Because, yeah, I'm always running from that shit. Let me shut up. But it says two of cups. Okay, sweetest thing to it. This card is an obsession with energy. All right. But I got innocence. I remember I saw innocence on here. Which one was that with innocence then? Was that in it? Y'all, I'm getting innocence with sweetest thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's what I'm, I'm, I'm an intuitive reader. So I'm just going to go with my intuition today. But I could have sworn I read innocence in one of these things but it's okay what i'm getting is that it's innocence period point blank innocence period point blank you guys are innocent with that sweetest thing i mean she looks innocent and sexy of course and all that stuff that she said but i i always got innocence with this card ever since i pulled it when i got the deck in october i always got innocent so you guys are innocent and i feel like people <laughs> these group of people biggest fear is is finding out that you're innocent all right, because somebody know that they can get into a lot of trouble for, 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 for trying to set you up, rob you. I'm also getting. Yeah, but just continue to protect your energy. I feel like this situation is old. All right, worn out. Okay, well, at least for you, I feel like you, if, especially if this already happened in the past, what I'm getting is that you already let it go. All right, and I feel like somebody, with this mistake happened, somebody could have already recognized that they made a mistake messing with you here. All right, and you already could have let it go as well. All right, somebody could have made a mistake when it come down to children, made a mistake messing with your kids here, speaking on your kids here, and I feel like that's why you're protecting your energy from, from these sad people because not only was they trying to, not only would it attack you, but it was attacking your kids, too. Okay? Talking shit about your kids, too. And I'm, I'm getting that you could have already let the situation go and move forward here, but drama is still going on around the situation. There's still drama going on. Okay, yeah, unexpected outcome. This person who, this person wearing a mask, this fake friend, he or she is about to experience an unexpected outcome. They're surprised it could be going to jail. Somebody could end up going to jail, all right? But they're not about to have a good outcome. It's going to be unexpected. Even if they feel like they not, even if they feel like, okay, you got away with it, whatever, even though you can get away with nothing because you're innocent, 
they don't think that the table's going to turn on them, but the tables are going to turn on them. But you guys are innocent either way. You're coming up as the sweetest thing, okay? You're innocent. Straight up and down, you're innocent here. Yeah, fix your crown. Just listen, listen, listen here. Somebody wanted to take your crown off. I was going to say it another way, but I didn't want to sound too dramatic. I really didn't. But somebody really wanted you to experience an unexpected outcome in the sense of you losing your crown. And, like, whatever you went through, okay, it caused your crown to be a little crooked here, but you're fixing it. You're fixing it here. All right? And now I feel like maybe people are coming to you now. These same people, these same group of friends for some of you guys are now coming to you asking you how they can fix their crown, how they can get healing and get help from you here. Some of you guys, somebody is coming to you for answers, questions, and they ask you questions and to get answers. All right? Yeah, you're very intuitive. I feel like, listen, some of you guys, y'all picked up intuitively that somebody's trying to come from you for your crown. Could be your crown chakra or just coming for your crown. Your royalties, your abundance here. All right? You're very, listen. But the sweetest thing and intuitive as fuck, I feel like you channel pure divine messages here. Like, if you're very intuitive, very psychic, like most of you guys are, you channel pure divine messages from source, from universe, from God, from your angels, okay? From the cosmos here. And I feel strongly that somebody try to make feed fear into you or make it seem like you are in fear, like you are 3D, like you're 3D, but you're not. You're actually 5D. You're very cosmic. And whoever this person is with a mask, they're actually 3D. And that's why they're fucking mad at you because you are 5D you, and they're not. And that's why they was gossiping about you. And for some of you guys, you had no idea. All right. For some of you guys, you have no idea that this situation was still going on because you've been protecting your energy, focusing on your creations. This is the impress. Now, I know that's for a fact in there. <laughs> I don't know where I saw Innocence. I saw Innocence somewhere. I just cannot remember. I don't know which card it was. I really don't. But I get Innocence with the sweetest thing. And I'm not changing that. <laughs> but, um, because I am an intuitive reader. But y'all had no idea all this stuff was going on. It's like, even by, it's like y'all been let it go. So y'all had no idea that these people are still bumping heads. These these group of people or friends are still bumping heads because you've been let it go. There's still gossip going around about you, about how you innocent here, and about how I'm hearing they try to put you in fear. Like yeah, like I'm telling you, it's it's gossip going around town now. All right, that and is that is being okay. Let me slow down. There's gossip going around town about how this person with a mask. Had you looking like you was the one that was full of fear and doubt, that you was 3D. All right, it's being revealed that you're not 3D, that this person is 3D. It's being revealed, okay, to people around them now. Like, shit, you are intuitive, you are innocent, all right, and you are put on game about the bullshit that's around you. Any fear or doubt that you're feeling, all right, you're picking up on it and you're calling the shit out, okay? And that's why people are coming to you for answers now. Telling this gossip going around about how you intuitive as fuck. That's that's literally the gossip that's going around. Like, damn, you intuitive as fuck. Damn, you super intuitive. You just able to pick up on anything. You gotta be pure. You gotta be innocent. Gotta be cosmic. You gotta be the sweetest thing. Okay, you gotta be God's child. That's what I'm getting. You gotta be God's child. All right, somebody definitely wanted to put you in fear and doubt here, and that shit did not work. Somebody really tried to put you in fear, like scare you, like really scare your ass. And make you fear them. And it did not work. You held your, you grounded yourself. That's what you did. And you let the shit go. Once the shit wasn't serving you no more. You're elevating here. You and your you and your children are going down a whole new beginning here of elevation of elevating. Okay, time with the time ticking, your the sh shit about to explode here. Not in a negative way, but you're about to have your tower. Your tower is going to be elevation. Okay, right, elevation. 
you celebrating. You and your kids are leveling up. And you're going to have a deeper connection with what's going on, okay? You already know what's going on. You already connected with what's going on, all right, about the gossip and the lies and the slander that's been going on behind your damn back. You already know about it, okay? You already knew about it here. So all you really need was just confirmation from me, spirit, whatever. Let me pull some of these cards. And this person is so mad. Like, they're literally looking at me mad. And I, yo, bitch. This person is mad because you called them out. They, they so mad that they are exposed. I almost cried because it looked like the bitch is looking at me mad. Like, yeah, I'm watching. Yeah, but bro, this shit is scary. Well, somebody got two faces or two fucking sides. Yo, this shit is scary, spirit. You better protect me, please, right now. Right now, I feel it. They hugging me. I feel it. Come on, because that shit's scary. I'm not even going to lie to you. That was scary. It looks like the, the, the fucking person is looking at me as I put it down. Okay? Like, they're exposed. As if I expose them. I mean, it's probably about that, that bullshit thing that I was going through, right? That could be it, but they pissed as fuck. Like, I, that card almost came to life. That's why it scared me. Like, the anger, the animosity, the hate that I felt almost came to life. Because they're hurt. They're hurt from other people by their friends. Their friends hurting them. All right, the, the same group of friends is hurting their feelings now. Now they gossiping about them, saying, oh, you did all that gossiping, all that shit talking, and you ain't no better than this, that, and the third. Why you ain't just leave Divine Feminine alone? You try to make, trying to put fear and doubt into us to make us not like Divine Feminine, but Divine Feminine is innocent. Okay, Divine Feminine is this, that, and the third. Divine Feminine is in, in, intuitive. Okay, they even try to say that you was insecure and jealous of them. Like, no, this person have nothing. They have nothing. You have... Your intuition, your third eye is, is glistering. They have nothing. Okay? Absolutely, positively nothing. <laughs> that, and they're jealous. And you're the sweetest thing. It did say sexy. Okay? Alluring here. Seductive. Listen, this person's mad because you're sexy, you're beautiful, you're youthful. All right? And you're innocent. It's fuck. And you're recovering. This person was sending you spiritual attacks. This person wearing a mask, they were sending you spiritual attacks. And I'm getting with this girl night. I feel like... Somebody knows that this person was secretly throwing you spiritual attacks, okay? They had a girl's night, and they confessed that shit, all right? That they do black magic. Somebody confessed that they do black magic to a friend. And they about to come and tell you that shit, and they could have even told the, cop, the popo that. And that's, that's what's going to shock this person. Like, oh, that's when they're going to be in this, oh. <laughs> You're a girl boss. That's why they mad because you're a girl boss. They try to cut your cord, cut a cord, um, try to cut your cord to stop you from becoming a girl boss. Look at that. They, that card is coming to life again. Pissed. Even when I bring the card to y'all, she's staring at me as I'm bringing the card to y'all. I'm telling you, that card is looking at me. That card is looking at me, y'all. Listen, this shit is all magical. The bitch is mad. That she got exposed, okay, because she's embarrassed here. She's embarrassed. Well, whatever, whatever this person's trying to do to you, they're embarrassed because they're older than you. You're a lot younger than them. You know, you you caught on to their shit. That's what I'm getting. It's, it's the fact that they're older than you and you caught on to their shit, okay? Because maybe they thought that they was more superior than you and you were stupid or something, okay? And you're telling them enough of the drama. Like, I'm done of the fucking... You told them. Or you're telling them. Or you're giving them that energy of, I'm done with the drama here. I'm trying to fucking focus on my create, my creations. Creating positive relationships with my finances. This person was trying to stop you from making money. They're watching you online. Knee high, private eye on social media. Mad at your glow up. This is probably why I'm getting that watching. They're watching you online. Fucking create positive relationship with your money in, in your <clears throat> everyday life and your business your success your abundance whatever seeing you create positive relationships for everything around you and they're mad okay they're very mad all right and you told them i'm done with the drama i'm just about to focus and move on and they still mad they still starting shit they still talking shit all right you literally and people see you building your brand that's what i'm getting people literally see you building your brand okay bossing up now is a good time to start a podcast youtube or online business listen and this person this person wearing the mask they just gossiping and i'm getting 
They always gossiping about your your brand in the beginning, like it's so fake, it's not real. But they don't they don't feel that way anymore. They don't. All right, they don't. They honestly, I'm getting hurt to vibes. Like whoever these group of people are, minus the person that was wearing the mask, they all feel bad for trying to bring you down or talking shit. Okay, for bandwagoning with this fool. Okay, yeah. Tell the haters I said, and I feel like they could have came to you and been like, you know, fuck this person. Tell them. Fuck them. You know, t they can go ahead and live their life. You don't got to worry about them or some shit like that. Or they gave you some word of encouragement to just fuck them. You know, ignore their energy. Ignore them or whatever like that. All right? Yeah, and they told you. They snitched. One of these friends told you and snitched on that mass friend and said that they was the one sending you the evil eye. They was the one that was doing it. It wasn't me. It was them. It was not me. It was them. That's what they're saying. Because you could be thinking that it's them or all of them. And they're trying to say, no, it wasn't me. It was them. They started it. All right? You been called truth. You and I'm getting your angels even told this person you're done. And if they still was fucking with you even after that shit, they're going to get karma. They're going to get dealt with. All right? Because they still could be sending you evil out here. Smiling, trying to evil, like sending you evil eye, smiling like, yeah, it's going to work this time. And it's not working. That's why they're getting destroyed. All right? Somebody is calculating their money. All right? I feel like this somebody is, is copycatting you and they try to say that you're a copycat. All right, I feel like this mask person, they're ca they're calculating their money here. Something don't add up. Their finances is low. Something about their, their, they're short on something. They don't have enough for something. So, yeah, they're short on something here. Stuff, stuff is about to get rough for this person and they see it and that's why they're mad. They feel it. Somebody feel like they just want to give up because all the pressure is on their ass. Surf, the, the song is called Surf Report. With the surf, I'm getting, I'm getting wave. All right, you're about to receive a wave of reports from these friends here. Like, in the sense of they all about to be telling you what's going on if they haven't already. All right? And somebody could have definitely got a police report on your ass as well. Your journal. Somebody been writing in a journal here. I feel like you could write in your journal. I feel like you write positive things in your journal. Somebody tried to say that you write negative. Somebody told the cops that you write negative things in your journal. Ooh, bitch. You write positive shit in your journal or you vent. Okay, as far as like you write what you go through, okay? This person tried to say cuz they try they for some reason they collected that energy or co connected co connected that energy. They collected that in information from one of these people, one of these friends that you write in your journal. All right, and they went to the police and said that you write negative shit in your journal. You write evil shit in your journal everything that you need to know about you is in your journal and it's sneaky shit all right like in the sense of negative stuff like negative stuff about them and other people how you you, you write negative things how you're going to kill them hate them how you hate them is all in your journal and that's not true somebody's a sneaky ass bitch they sneaky as they're sneaky as fuck this person wearing a mask after they get defeated they're going to be saying they hate nothing about you but it's going to be after they they get cooked to the curb after they get they they um karma served to them and they was going around telling everybody this lie but some of you guys it, no friend told them about the journal they just made that shit up and if they was doing magic on you you know they was getting readings on you let's just be real so they could have picked that shit up all right feeling alone they're alone now they ain't got no friends around them no more. Them same friends ain't around they ass no more because they on your side secretly. They secretly on your side. You don't even know this shit because you been let it go. All right? And you been told the haters bye. Okay? You been told them bye. See you later. All right? When the haters see you winning, hating in the shadows. Okay? So, I feel like there's people in the shadows, though, secretly watching. For some of y'all could be this person but anyways they feeling alone now and that's why they all on social media here watching other people glow up mad they just sending they just mad at everybody i'm getting they they sending negativity to every fucking body that's what i'm getting they sending negativity to everybody now everyone who they used to watch that's what i'm getting they sending negativity to all of them that's what i'm getting because they feeling alone you left them ice they they not you but they they got left they they feeling isolated here they feel isolated So they went into, for them to, it's like, by them being alone and feeling alone, they had to, like, do something here. Do a ritual. 
that's what I mean, do a ritual to, to not, so they won't feel alone anymore, or to get back at you guys, or the group of friends or whatever, y'all listen, or whoever they watch, let me just keep going, it's coming out that way for a reason, so let me just keep going, I'll be trying to keep my ebb and flow but sometimes certain messages come come out specifically so just take it out resonate all right but we have muse here yeah i feel like listen i'm hearing one of the haters they're actually supporters here you may look at them as a hater because y'all may be enemies but they actually support you secretly and they're telling you to keep creating okay keep creating and i'm hearing whatever listen whatever this person with a mask is they said about you they try to say whatever creative shit you do is nonsense well this person is saying keep creating your quote-unquote nonsense because your nonsense resonates that's what i'm getting in in and in, i guess it resonates with them and it, it helps them that's that's how it's coming out for y'all okay that's how the message is coming out all right whatever and i'm getting what resonate is like you could have probably told but some of y'all y'all could have told these this one specific person that told you about this fake friend or the group of them to be careful or you don't really fuck with them like that and you know because I did pick up that y'all was in a group. Y'all was in a group. Okay, a group of friends. Okay. And throughout y'all being friends, y'all could have saw through this masked person first before everybody else did. And you told them to be careful and they didn't listen. Okay, because I did pick up. People was going back telling this fake person shit about you. All right, by what, you know, from what they heard from you. All right. So that could be one of the scenarios with this muse. It's like, your shit wasn't nonsense. Like, I believe you. And keep doing your thing. All right? But for the most part, if you're manifesting, if you're very creative, they're telling you that they're, they're saying one of the friends of the group is coming to you telling you to fuck the haters and to keep moving forward. Okay? Do not allow any challenge or obstacle to block you or stop you here. Okay, because you're about to have a salary check. They could, but some of you guys, mm, somebody, this, this, one of these friends is picked, they like a psychic here. Y'all all could be fucking psychics. For some of y'all, I'm getting y'all all could be fucking psychics. I just got to be real. All right, or y'all all intuitive, y'all all spiritual, or y'all all pick up shit about each other. They picked up that you're about to have a salary fucking check. You're about to be blessed. Okay, you're about to receive your blessings because you're blessed, because you're a good person here. All right, and with this... Self-reflection, whoever this person with a mask is, they are in reflection. They're reflecting on what the fuck they did or they're going to be or they're going to have to pay. That's what I'm getting. They're going to have to pay for what they did because they involved other people in their shit. All right? And even though, yeah, they may have bandwagon and tag along, but it was only because they was lied to. They was lied to here. And this person with a mask made shit up. And the only reason why these other people talk shit about you with them and told some of your business is because they thought this person with a mask was real. And they thought that you was fake. But now they see it's different. They well, Listen, you inspire others here to do better. And that's part of your goals. And somebody see that that's your goal. If this is like spiritual or some shit or competition and somebody trying to say you're trying to copy them and that's not really your goal that's not really your mission yes the fuck it is okay you won't be doing it if it's not okay the song is nostalgic that's this is shit from the past that's literally coming back around you influence others with your positive attitude to step into their power here yes you have listen your your attitude is very positive and that's what help influence people is that you're very positive you are encouraging okay you are encouraging and somebody was definitely giving you the evil eye because you fucking inspire others I'm getting a vibe that you even inspired this fucking person with a mask. You could have told them some good-ass advice, and they got pissed because they didn't think of that advice first. Bitch, bye. Kiss, kiss some ass. Okay, kiss some fucking ass. How about that? Do that. Tell tell them that. All right? By the way, somebody was also sending evil out on your goals. They were jealous of your goals and your plans, okay? Somebody was definitely tapping into your energy doing that shit, and they about to get caught up. Period. Strength here. Listen. Yo. <laughs> Just listen, spirit, 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 thank you. First of all, I got a whole reading on my page about me kind of exposing the truth of a karmic having shit in their journal. Y'all need to check that shit out because I think this person with a mask really got shit in their journal. They got skeletons in their closet and is in their motherfucking journal because they try to hard down say what the strength in journal, the strength is strong energy. They try to strongly say you have shit in your journal okay 
But really, you got positive shit in your journal. You even got business plans in your journal. This person got evil witchcraft in their journal. Evil wicca in their journal. Evil shit in their goddamn journal. Period, point blank, and they try to put that shit on you. All right? So, they need... Listen. Whoop, whoop. That's the sound of police. They need to... <laughs> <laughs> they need to check this person's journal. Spirit is saying this listen, Spirit is saying the cops would have came here with that fuck shit. It would have went down and not in a pretty way. It would have went down for this person and it would not have been pretty for them at all. That's why it's coming up as surprise and unexpected damn outcome. Somebody's about to go through their own fucking tantric journey where it's gonna teach them a lot of fucking lessons here. Okay, that's what I'm getting. I know, but Tantric Journey, I just did that, that damn reading with that card, and it said hidden wisdom and self-discovery. Basically, this person's about to go through a, 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 a journey of self-discovery here, all right? And it's going to teach them a lot of lessons, okay? It's going to teach their asses a lot of lessons because they bullshit. They, they ain't have to go through all that. They ain't have to go through all that, okay? They ain't have to put you through all that. They ain't have to put nobody in their shit. Especially if they jealous. They need, to, they need to heal. Trying to say that you need to heal. They need to heal. Yeah. They just chasing after. Listen. Some of y'all may have the same dream. Alright. Like as in y'all both do the same shit. Like I said. This is someone at work. Or they was chasing your fucking dream. Or they was copying off of your ass. Alright. I feel like listen. Even if they are successful in what they do. I do see some success. They still feel alone and sad. That's why they they knee high and private eye and all other people fucking social media and and other shit. And that's yeah, that's why they doing that spying on other people shit because they alone. They're not happy. They're not satisfied with their success here. All right, this is someone that craves fucking power here. I'm also getting whistle song. I'm getting whistleblower. Somebody's about to be a fucking whistleblower. Somebody's about to tell everything, everything. And I'm hearing. Give it all that you got. I feel like you gave something all that you could and you just have to let it go and move forward. And I feel like you tried to show people the truth about this person, but you had to let it go. And now people see it and it's like, now they're trying to come to you and you just like, okay, I don't, I know that. I know. Do you know that now? Because I know that already. You know, like, that's the energy I'm getting that y'all saying. Yeah, cleanse your space. If anything, I feel like for some of you guys, y'all are in that energy where it's like you're telling them, well, you better just cleanse your space. If you feel like this person sending you negativity, you just need to cleanse your space, all right? And you need to just move forward, forget about them, all right? They could have said this to you, but I'm getting y'all could have said this to someone. Like, some of you guys are getting your ego, and you're just like, you know, just cleanse your space and let it go. Or somebody could have said that to you, like I said. <laughs> Okay, because I'm getting like straight nonchalant, like cold energy from that. So somebody could have been cold, all right, and said that shit. Like if somebody was definitely trying to block your muse, your imagination, you know, well, your creative space, more more than imagination, your creative space, they would just like just clean your space and move forward, okay, and tell them you said fuck them, all right. But you were just like, nah, they watching me, they doing too much, like nah, I got to do more than that, okay. That's probably some outside energy. That's not going to resonate with everyone. But for the most part, just cleanse your space. Cleanse your crown. Mm -hmm. Some of you guys, this is definitely going on with work here. And it's time to get your money right. But something's about to tick. Somebody bomb is about to go off. The time is there. Somebody's time is up. That's that person with a mask. And they're watching here with one eye closed, one eye open. <laughs> And you saying, fuck you. Excuse my language. You saying, fuck you. <laughs> Alright, that's what you're saying. But also, you're leveling up, too. Level up. Level up, level up, level up. Salary check, period. In your workspace, either promotion or you're just about to get a salary check that's leading to a big promotion. I mean, don't that always add up? A, sal a promotion is a salary check. Either way, you're about to level up in your workplace. And that's about to bring up them dollars, honey. All right, continue to elevate your mindset. Listen, whoever this copycat is, they write shit down and, they, and they, they write down other people, like affirmations. They write down other people, readings. They copy other people's shit. And they was copying your shit. All right, period, point, fucking blank. All right, and they got caught. This is someone in the workplace getting fucking caught. All right, and their eyes is big as fuck. Like, oh, I can't believe it. Okay, they can't believe it. And they feel it on the soul level that they, they time is up and they better stop doing what they're doing to you. And your person I'm hearing for some of you guys. 
if somebody was messing with your person as well, trying to come in between that. Okay, but anyway, I love y'all so much. Namaste.